Have you ever needed a ride, maybe home from school, to the airport, after a late night? Have you ever waited around for hours for a taxi or a buddy to come pick you up just to have an uncomfortable car ride? That's the old regime. Now, there's been a revolution. The definition of revolutionary is radically new or innovative, and that's what we would call Uber. Uber is a new-to-the-market ride-sharing service that allows anyone to be a taxi-like driver anywhere they are. It allows anyone to easily receive rides, oftentimes from locations not covered by taxis. They have completely changed the market and destroyed the taxi industry monopoly. So it's no stretch why someone might call the startup ride service company Uber revolutionary. And because of its rapid growth and game-changing attitude, we decided it would be a perfect fit for our pace analysis project because it utilizes all aspects, professionalism, academics, character, and engagement. Uber is growing fast but on their path of expansion, they don't overlook their morals and professionalism. Uber treats its competition with high regards. In fact, they welcome it. Uber believes that they should stand by their product. They feed off their competition and customer base because they know what they need to improve on. Uber doesn't badmouth their competition. They let their product speak for itself. And in this regard, they show great professionalism. In addition, their corporate climate also encourages growth and ideas. They welcome innovation, and because of how their company is structured, their flat hierarchy encourages it. Uber is a very modern, professional company. They care about their corporate employees and provide a working place that is suitable to their employees' needs and wants. They also take a moral high road when it comes to competition, and they show great confidence in the service that they provide. Uber is, in fact, a very professional and dedicated company, and this dedication also extends to academics, as well. Uber's level of academic requirement varies on an incredible scale depending on the position in question. There is no academic requirement to be an Uber driver. Instead, they must only possess a CDL or commercial driver's license, which holds them to a higher standard of safety to protect Uber's passengers. On top of all that, drivers must pass a background check, be a minimum age of 21 years old, and have a vehicle model of 2001 or newer. However, jobs on the other end of the spectrum, such as a software engineer, are required to have a lot of education and experience. These engineers are required to have a bachelor's degree or higher in an engineering field. They must have programming experience on one or more application or systems languages, an understanding of distributed systems, concepts, and principles, and experience building components of a data workflow management platform. Uber is only looking for experienced high-end engineers who can help them develop high-end software to continue to grow their company and help it become more efficient. Uber does not offer any educational opportunities to further the academic careers of its workers, except for the valuable real-world experience they gain. This allows for their company to develop great character, which is another aspect of PACE that Uber utilizes. Uber's character is best displayed through its hiring practices at a basic level. Uber possesses one of the most diverse workforces in America. There is a fairly wide span of diversity amongst Uber drivers, with around 25% of them being over the age of 50 and 19% being under the age of 30. These statistics show that the opportunity to drive for Uber is open to people of all ages. The profession of driver also allows for an incredibly malleable work schedule in which you choose the hours you work. This creates an undemanding work schedule and provides flexibility for the circumstance of any driver. Where Uber lacks character is in the vast differences between the corporate employees and the drivers, which has caused some tension within the company. At a corporate level, Uber doesn't nece necessarily recognize its drivers as employees of the company, but as independent contractors. This means that Uber does not reimburse its drivers for their business expenses. Recently, they had a dispute with an employee over this, and a labor commissioner in California ruled that drivers should be treated as employees. This has led to an increased push for change in the corporate climate of Uber. However, one aspect of the corporate climate that should not be changed is their engagement. Uber has taken many actions to become a strong presence in the many communities that it serves. As a widely used mobile transportation system, the users of this service span 
over many communities across 77 countries and 527 cities. This large-scale market allows Uber to be involved in many communities, not only through service, but also through its thousands of employees in those areas. Uber thrives on travel due to citywide events, which cause price surges as a result of increased demand for travel. As a result of this, Uber becomes very involved in community events, and drivers stay well informed of what is going on in their respective communities. Uber has partnered with Google to motivate its users to vote in the upcoming presidential election. These companies have widely supported National Voter Registration Day in communities across the United States. Uber has pushed for higher voter turnout amongst its drivers and passengers through ads and social media. Uber has also connected with shops such as Sears, Kmart, and Land's End to reward users of their service. This system allows riders to earn Shop Your Way points which are redeemable at the previously mentioned stores as in-store credit. This incentive not only helps reward users within any community, but also helps these stores to increase their sales. Uber is not involved in any community service, but it does advocate for multiple social responsibilities. Uber is a large supporter of drunk driving prevention and is also an advocate for safe driving practices. For being such a young company, Uber already has a very strong presence in the transportation industry. They have become so successful so quickly because they have been acting upon each aspect of PACE, professionalism, academics, character, and engagement. Uber holds their employees to a high moral standard and does not shy away from becoming involved in the communities that it serves. They are constantly striving for quality service and exceptional diversification within their company. Despite the problems that they are facing, Uber is rising above their competition and is slowly but surely dominating the transportation industry.